Hey guys, what's up? This is Nate here, and today Apple seeded iPhoto 9.2 Beta 3 to developers. So of course we're going to be talking about PhotoStream with this application. Now in case you're not familiar with PhotoStream, it's a free feature coming along with iCloud this fall, and what it does is it keeps your photos in sync between all your mobile devices and your computer. So let's say for example I took a picture on my iPhone 4, that would automatically be brought up to the cloud and back down to my iPhoto uh, PhotoStream library here, which I could drag over then to my hard drive if I wanted to keep a copy of it. This will also work the other way around, so let's say I have a photo on my computer and I want that on my iDevices, simply drag and drop into PhotoStream here and it will arrive on my iPhone within minutes. So now let's take a look at some of the changes that I've noticed in Beta 3 over Beta 2. So in Beta 2 when I tried to delete a photo and I press the delete key, nothing would happen. Now in Beta 3 when I do that, a message comes up telling me that photo stream photos cannot be deleted. So I guess you're just going to have to wait until your 30 days are up and eventually the photos will just go away. Um, next, I've noticed that when you drag a photo uh, to your PhotoStream library, so let's just say I have a photo here, drag that over to PhotoStream, a message now comes up saying your photos, uh, your imported photos have been uploaded to PhotoStream. Of course, this doesn't happen instantly. You'll notice it's not quite here yet, but it will take place in a few minutes. And the last thing I've noticed is if you head up to the preference pane here, you have the ability to first off enable PhotoStream or disable it if you don't want the feature, and you can automatically um, import and upload photos. Next, I want to take a look at the iOS side of things. Alright, so PhotoStream can be enabled by going into Settings, heading into your iCloud account, going to the PhotoStream feature, and simply turning it on. Now, unfortunately, PhotoStream will only work over Wi-Fi. There's no 3G support at this time. Once you have enabled it in Settings, the PhotoStream album will automatically be created for you, and you probably recognize some of these photos from my iPhoto library, with the exception of the first one, which hasn't quite uploaded yet. So this has been a look at iPhoto 9.2 Beta 3, as well as the PhotoStream settings in iCloud on my iPhone 4. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.